Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And in today's YouTube video, I'm gonna go over setting up permissions, security, profiles, roles, what are they inside of Zoho CRM. So we have a lot of videos already talking about how to customize your CRM, how to add users to the CRM, and you can check them out. Uh, we'll have links to those videos. But in this video, I wanna talk about something that a lot of people ask about and can be confusing, which is profiles and roles and security in general. It's a very important thing to set up within your CRM. A lot of people overlook it. I've seen a lot of weird things happen when you do overlook it. So number one, we're gonna go into the security settings, do a general overview of that. Number two, we're going to talk about profiles and roles, what the difference are between them. And then number three is data sharing within the CRM. So we're going to talk about how to share data, uh, multiple ways to set that up, users, groups, roles, things of that nature. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love that. We love responding to it and uh, enjoy the video. Cheers. All right, let's get into it. So this is the back end of Zoho CRM, and you've seen this in a lot of our videos already, but where we're gonna focus on a lot today is under users and control. So I'm gonna go over a few things, like I said in the, the intro. So first off, what I'm gonna talk about is security control. So if you click that, this is a very important part of the CRM that, as I said, is oftentimes overlooked. Probably the key areas that you need to focus on are profiles, roles, and data share. We're not gonna go over Zoho Mail add-on users today. That may be a separate video, but really, after you've watched our customizing your CRM video and after you've watched our adding a user video, this is an area you're going to have to focus a lot of time on, or you should. The reason being is this allows you to control what users are allowed to do, create, edit, delete, things of that nature, and what they're allowed to see, their peers' data, their own data, everyone's data, right? And so those are obviously very important things in a system. So when you first come here, you'll see profiles, and profiles is what users are allowed to do. Are they allowed to create? Are they allowed to edit? Are they allowed to see the back end? Are they allowed to export? This is very important as you scale your team. We've seen many different situations where maybe someone leaves the company and they export all the data or they delete all the data or weird things like that. So it's very important to be cautious and do this properly at this point. And so you can see the administrator profile. This is one assigned to the admin. And if you click on it, you can see they can do everything and you can't turn off the, like you can, but like it, it's really not useful to turn off the ability for an admin to do a lot of this stuff, right? And so admin should be allowed to delete. Admin should be allowed to create, right? Now you have the choice. You can turn off that ability and you can say, no, they're not allowed to delete. And so you can see here, what it lists here is all of the modules, leads, contacts, accounts, etc. So all of these along here. So what are they allowed to do? Are they allowed to view? If they're not, it turns off everything. Are they allowed to just edit and delete? Are they allowed to only edit? So you get the idea here, right? And so you can fine tune and go through all of these different modules. What I always recommend and how we always set up systems for clients is we always get rid of the delete ability for anyone below the admin right there's no need for someone to need to delete something from the crm if they really have to they can reach out to someone on the team and that person deletes it right below that there's some of these permissions now for the admin you're not allowed to touch these these are the back end permissions so when you hit this gear all of this back here is what it's referring to there right and so obviously as an admin <laughs> you have to be able to do all of this to set people up to set everything up so it gives you no option here in the back end now, what I always recommend people do when they have a new user come on board is typically clone this profile. So you can clone this profile and you can set it up for your new users or, or the users that you're adding to your CRM. So when you clone, you can now name it something and you could say, for example, secondary admin or salesperson, right? So I'll call this salesperson. Great. So now I'm gonna go through this and turn off all of these features, right? And so I'm gonna say they're not allowed to delete this or delete that or delete this, et cetera. So I'd recommend going through that, turning off all of that. Then when you go down here, you can see all of this is unlocked now. So you may say, well, as a salesperson, I don't want to allow them to export data. That's too iffy, right? Or you might just say, well, I want them to be able to uh, export some data. So you can pick and choose what they're allowed to export. You can also pick and choose if they're allowed to send emails, if they're allowed to update, change the owner, transfer en masse, like take a hundred leads and move it from Massimo to Jim, for example, as the owner. Are they allowed to print? Are they allowed to find and merge? So there's all kinds of stuff. Now, one of the things I've typically, we leave this up to the account or sorry, the client, if they want to turn this stuff off. Mass delete, we typically tell them to turn off. But when it gets down here, we oftentimes tell them like, will this salesperson ever need to go into the back end and like 
add a user, delete a user? Probably not, right? And so we typically turn a lot of this off and then we turn on a few things. So the email integration is important. If you want them to integrate their email with the CRM, which is a good idea, you should keep that on, right? Templates, they may want to edit templates and customize templates. So this is also a good feature to keep on. Below here, automation, typically the average user doesn't come back here and do that. And I'd recommend turning that off for the average user or the salesperson in this case. The web form, typically no one touches but the admin. Migrating data. Zia, you may want to turn this on. This is Zoho's AI software. It's not really a deal breaker if you keep it off. And then these are some of the integrations, right? So we typically tell people to keep all of the rest on. Okay, so that's kind of the best practice of what people are allowed to do. And so I'd recommend if you have different levels, right? If you say, okay, we have an admin, then we have a secondary admin that can do a lot of what the admin can do, but not everything. And then we have a normal user. I probably should have named this normal user instead of salesperson. So I'll put normal, oops. Right? So this is the normal everyday user. A lot of people are gonna go into this profile. Great, now you've set up what people are allowed to do. The next piece is to set up what people are allowed to see. And what that is, is in roles, right? And so roles, you can kind of see it's built a hierarchy here. So you can add people underneath. So anyone in the CEO can then see data in the manager, but the manager cannot see up to the CEO. And so for example here, I could add someone below the manager just by hitting plus, and I could say uh, employee. I could say they report to the manager. And this button here allows people in that employee, so all the people in the employee, to see each other's data. So if you check this box, that's what this does. And so now if I go back to roles, you'll see there's three, right? And so you can have a bunch of fun doing this, but keep in mind the hierarchy does come into play out of box, right? So if you have someone up here, they can see everything below, but the person below cannot see everything above. We'll get into that in a second. So this is really important. Go through this. I would highly recommend to try to keep this as simple as possible. If you start making complex hierarchies, the odds of making a mistake go up and then you're going to get calls and emails from your users and uh, it can sometimes be a little frustrating. Just as an FYI, whenever you add a new user, it will actually ask you what role is this user. So you can assign users these roles as you go, as you add new users. The last piece is data sharing. So out of box, Zoho has everything private, as you can see here, right? So all the modules are private. It does follow the hierarchy. So if someone is up here, they can see everything below. And if someone is here, they can see everything below. But within the modules, everything's private. So for example, if normal user A, and he's a salesperson, owns data, normal user B, that's a salesperson, cannot see that other person's data if you did not check the shared data with peers. A lot of our users make everything public, truthfully, more and more now. But if you have the type of organization where you want things to be private, what I'd recommend doing is taking a look at this page. And there may be situations where you want to break down those walls that were set up inside of the sharing rules. So you could say, okay, well, we actually have an interesting use case inside of the account module. I might want a new sharing rule, like a very specific sharing rule. And I may say, okay, well, in this module, anyone who is in manager can, for example, share data with employees, right? So anyone above can actually share data with people below. And you can say read, write, delete, or read only. And just keep in mind, even if you put delete here, if you remember in that other module, when we set up the users, we disallowed them to delete. So that module actually overwrites this one. So even though it says delete here, they can't if you set up your profiles correctly. So now you create sharing rule. And you'll see here it runs a data sharing and you can rerun it if you change it. But what we've just done is kind of breaking down the silos. So traditionally, if an employee owned a record, the manager could see it. Now what we've just told it is if a manager owns a record, the employee can see it too. So there may be other use cases that you have that you want to break down those silos. And that's what this is made for. It allows you to kind of break down those walls and break down that hierarchy. Again, I'd recommend keeping this as simple as possible. I've seen many systems where they have like 20 sharing rules per module. It can get a little out of hand, but these three things should be set up properly. So just to go over again, profiles, make sure what a user can do. Are they allowed to delete? Are they allowed to edit, et cetera? Roles, keep it simple, but create a hierarchy of data viewing. And then the last part, if you need to break down that hierarchy for any reason, you can do it module by module with these sharing rules. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.